Train congestion has increased in Goshen as of recently, and community members have been feeling its adverse effects. Often the train is stopped for long periods of time, causing severe traffic congestion right in the middle of town. Councilman Herberto Perez Jr. gave comments about the letter of grievances that was drafted to Norfolk Southern. The mayor was working with the uh, sheriff and other elected officials such as the county commissioners, uh, stating our displeasure with what's happening right now. The letter which was sent to the Norfolk Southern Board of Directors was very clear about the issues regarding the stopped trains, specifically containing the phrase that the city of Goshen was being held hostage by stopped trains for nearly three hours in recent times. Not only did they cite block traffic as an issue, but also being a hindrance to school buses and emergency vehicles. The hospital is important for people. and. Something like a 30 to an hour long train delay could make a lot of difference. Working at the hospital, I know if there's an ambulance stuck on the other side, that's not great for patient care, patient outcomes. Like I know we now have the overpass on the north side of town and on the south side of town, but those are way out of the way for any type of emergency vehicles trying to get to the hospital. It's definitely something I think about when I think about my patients in the hospital. Members of the community are glad that the issue is being addressed and hope that long-term solutions are found. Well, I was impressed. I never thought that uh, the town would actually decide to come together as a community and get like different local leaders and actually try to bring their concerns and the community's concerns to the railroad company. I, I think it's a good thing that they're discussing it. It needs to, it needs to change. The Goshen City government called for a meeting with the heads of Norfolk Southern so that this issue can be resolved. I think the main complaint is keep the trains moving. And the solution is keep the trains moving. Don't don't uh, have them stop because it impacts our our daily life. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Jeremiah Sherrill.